Yes, we have great skills, but so does every other species on the planet. This is a quote by Jenny Kendler, an interdisciplinary artist, environmental activist, and naturalist. She is currently the first artist in residence with the Natural Resources Defense Council. All of her work gives responses to topics such as endangered species, the impact of human activity, and more specifically, she wishes to showcase a relationship that humans can share with the natural world. She also has a number of projects that can inspire many to do their part in making a difference to better the planet. Sculptural works of hers feature objects such as vintage porcelain birds, vintage busts, collected items, and fallen samples from nature. These have been gathered and later modified to create a deeper theme. In a Chicago Reader interview, she says that the faceted helmets you see on the birds is an idea of deflecting. They could be protecting the birds from poachers or environmental degradation. Most of the materials for these birds consist of styrofoam, paper clay, glue, and acrylic. These busts are adorned with preserved lichen or fungus. The idea behind them is imagining another path for Western culture where nature was not separated from culture. Amongst the artist's whimsical looking drawings, a series called Archipelago is inspired by the field of island biogeography. This studies bounded habitats, islands, and places like mountaintops to understand how ecosystems develop in isolation. This particular drawing is about how the volcano rabbit is becoming another symbol that represents how human activity threatens the planet. The rabbit lives only on the pine-studded slopes of four volcanoes near Mexico City. It's being pushed up the mountain slopes by habitat encroachment, overhunting, and climate change. Therefore, it's losing its only habitat. A project named Music for Elephants is a collection of data about the future poaching of African elephants. The data is translated and formed into a score for a vintage ivory keyed player piano. Each note played on the restored piano from 1921 represents the number of elephants who may die in the future from ivory poaching in a single month. Since ivory became a symbol of power, growing in trade, the consequences have only grown. Sadly, the way humans feel about a species is now a main factor of their survival. Our empathy is necessary for their life. One of the most popular interactive projects Kendler created is the milkweed dispersal balloons. This is an attraction at public venues like farmers markets and museums where visitors can pick up clear balloons that are filled with milkweed seeds. This is the only plant which the monarch butterfly feeds on. These balloons are meant to be popped to release the seeds and allow them to grow for caterpillars and monarchs to feed on. Monarch populations have dropped by 90% due to the controversial topic of climate change, which according to some may or may not be a hoax, not to name any names. On the subject of butterflies, this garden is made to appeal to the senses of pollinators who can see in ultraviolet colors that humans can only imagine. At night, the garden comes to life with a fluorescent glow to give humans a glimpse into the spectrum of colors that only butterflies can see.